Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com taking a look at another Aragon watch with you guys today that I recently received in. Before I get started though guys, can you go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down in the right hand corner of your screen. I'm telling you if you haven't done it already, you're going to want to do it because by doing that, you will be alerted when I release my New Year's Day video at 12 p.m. Now, what's so exciting about that video? you guys will get a chance to win one of my watches. Don't forget, 12 p.m. New Year's Day. So, like I mentioned, we have another Aragon watch to review. Today, this one is a little bit interesting. This is an Aragon Ultra Open Heart Automatic. So if we take a closer look at this Aragon Ultra Automatic Open Heart that I received, You'll see, just like the past few watches I've received, it comes in, they call it a collector's case um, from Aragon, which is just standard. It's got, uh, you know, your Aragon manual and everything right within this. This one actually also has a business card, which I haven't gotten one of these before. See if you can see it. A business card to actually register the warranty for these. I had not seen that before in any of the other purchases that I've gotten. So that's kind of interesting. But let's take a look at this watch and see what makes this guy so special. So right off the bat, outside of the open heart design to the dial and the ability to see that automatic movement, you see that deep blue dial in this watch. Now the case, I'm going to guess that the case is the same case that they use for the Caprice models. The second big design characteristic of this watch is actually the band. If you look at this band, that is a solid piece of steel. It's almost like a, um, a bracelet of some kind. I, I forget, I'm not a woman, so I forget. The, a bangle bracelet, I guess is what they would call it. But... Um, it's a solid piece of steel, so I think just the aesthetics of that, it give it a very futuristic look, um, which I think is, is kind of neat. And then the rest of the band is, you know, stainless steel. They have the double fold-over locking clasp, just like the rest of their air guns. I haven't taken the all the plastic off of this guy. On the back of this watch, and of course I haven't taken the sticker off either, but it does have a display back. On the dial, or I'm sorry, on the crown, which is actually a screw down crown, has the Aragon logo right there, just like all of their other watches. I'll get you some close up views of this movement here in a second. I did opt for the 44 millimeter in this. They had it in 50 millimeter, but the one thing I've learned with the Aragon Enforcer that I have, 50 millimeters is just really, really too big for my wrist. Um, I have my Dive Master 9100 here, and this is a 44 millimeter, give or take. And this is just a really, really comfortable watch that's perfect size for me. The 50 millimeter would have been too big for me. So, taking a closer look at this Aragon Ultra Automatic Open Heart, and dive into the specs on this guy a little bit. This guy actually runs on the Japanese. NH38 automatic movement and that uh, allows you to have that open heart design just because of the movement design. The case measurements for this is 44 millimeter. I did opt for the 44 millimeter because it's the perfect size for me. Case thickness is 14 millimeters so it's going to be really easy for me to wear this under dress shirts or any shirts for that matter without having it be too bulky. The bezel on this is a fixed bezel. There is no, it's not a diver, it's in my estimation a dress watch. Um, so it's, there's no diver bezel on it to rotate. The crystal is hardened mineral crystal with, as I mentioned, the screw down crown. The band width at the lug is 24 millimeters. So this watch really fits that sweet spot for what I like in sides, both from the case 
diameter as well as the band size itself. It's a relatively heavier watch for its size at seven ounces. The 50 millimeter is nine ounces, but this guy is seven ounces, which I'm completely okay with. If you wanted to look for this watch specifically, the actual part number for the 44 millimeter blue dial open heart, because just like with all of Aragon products, there's multiple color variations that you can pick up. The actual model number for this watch is A201BLU. I purchased this watch through a little bit different means. Um, and what I mean by that is I didn't purchase this watch directly from Aragon. I know multiple times in the past I've said I'll only buy watches directly from Aragon. Well, this one I didn't, and I'll, there's a couple of reasons why. Aragon recently started selling some of their watches on Evine, evine.com. And when Wing announced that he was selling them on Evine, I actually jumped over real quick and realized that on Evine, they're selling some models that you can't see on the standard Aragon website. So, of course, I got interested, and of course, I had to snatch up three different watches on that little shopping excursion. But for this watch itself, I paid probably the closest to retail I've ever paid for an Aragon watch. I paid $98.90 for this watch, and I'll tell you that I'm a-okay with that. And part of the reason is, is because I've never had a watch that's kind of this out there. Additionally, I already know the make and the build quality of Aragon watches, so I knew it was something that I was not going to be disappointed with. And finally, it really wasn't that expensive. $98.90 for a watch of this build quality is, in my estimation, a very, very good deal. Taking a look at what this watch is going for on the open market, I was able to find this watch, I should say, number of these watches on eBay in addition to Evine, but these watches right now are going used on eBay for $125 for the blue, um, $125 for the red, and the purple. There's all right around the $125 range. So even at my $98.90 purchase for a brand new watch, I'm still making out better than if I was purchasing it secondhand from eBay. All right guys, so that is the Aragon Ultra Automatic Open Heart that I received. Overall, I think it's a really, really, really out there design, really interesting design. Um, I'm going to be curious to see how these solid steel links fit, if they're comfortable, if it's something that I enjoy wearing. Um, but I think the design and look of this watch is absolutely amazing, especially with that dark, dark blue dial. Really looking forward to getting this thing sized and getting it on my wrist. Stick around for some of the close-up pictures because you guys aren't going to believe some of the design characteristics on this watch. It's just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking us out. Don't forget to stop back tomorrow at 12 p.m. as well. We'll have another watch review for you. And don't forget January 1st, 2018 for your chance to win one of my watches. Thank you guys. You can always follow us on Instagram at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. And as always, you can reach me on the website at mywatchaddiction.com. Thank you guys and have a great day.